A warm welcome to everyone taking time out of their day to join me for Tuesday Tips with Taylor. Here at Always Best Care, we strive to provide quality care for our clients in the same way we would provide care for a loved one. November 11th is Veterans Day. Originally declared Armistice Day, November 11th each year marks the day in 1918 when the armistice was signed between Germany and the Allies to end World War I, although peace was not officially declared until the signing of the Treaty of Versailles on June 28th of 1919. The main difference between Veterans Day and Memorial Day are the veterans that are honored on each day. On Veterans Day, we honor all military veterans, while Memorial Day is meant to honor those who died in the line of duty. In the U.S., there are about 19 million veterans as of 2019. However, only 5.4 million, or roughly 28 percent, are currently receiving benefits through the VA. In my day-to-day -day routine, I meet with a lot of families uh, and veterans who are seeking support at home. Unfortunately, very few of those people that I meet with have a full understanding of what benefits are available to them through the VA, which is what I'd like to talk about today. Our first benefit is aid and attendance, which provides monthly payments to qualified veterans and their surviving spouses who need assistance with daily activities to remain independent. In order to qualify for this benefit, you must need assistance from another person with your daily living activities like bathing, dressing, continence, transfers, ambulation, and feeding. You may be bedridden for all or most of the day due to illness, are a permanent resident of a nursing home, or your eyesight is limited to a visual field of five degrees or less in both eyes. Our second benefit is the VA's Community Cares Program. This program is only available to eligible veterans who need care that cannot be provided by the VA, and all care that is provided through this program is paid for by the VA. To determine eligibility, a veteran would first need to meet with the VA, who will then issue an approval for a community care provider. As an approved provider of this program, our agency has been honored to serve those who served our country. Lastly, there are some exciting changes coming down the pike for veterans and additional health care benefits. On September 6th of 2022, the VA conducted a pilot program which screened 13,380 veterans for potential toxic exposures during their time in the service. Of these veterans, the VA found 37.4% exposure concern. With this pilot program being performed, the VA will now offer this new toxic exposure screening to all veterans as of November 8th, which is tomorrow. Part of the PACT Act, the five to 10 minute screening will be used to determine exposure to open burn pits and airborne hazards, Gulf War related exposures, Agent Orange, radiation, and Camp Lejeune water contamination exposures, to name a few. Uh, at an initial appointment with a VA health provider, veterans will receive this screening, and then regular screenings will be conducted uh, once every five years. For more information on veterans' benefits, please reach out to Always Best Care of Central Connecticut. And remember to take a moment this Friday to honor our veterans. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you next time.